guys hello and welcome to another video so today i uh woke up and i was going through my email and then i came across this email that said scary peppa from the dark web or something like that i have no clue who sent it to me but as we can see by the thumbnail <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to click this thing because I don't know what in the world we're gonna like expect from this video But you know what we thugs man. We're gonna go ahead and click this and let's see what it's all about nope. Oh, let me turn it up turn it off. Here we go nope. Oh I'm scared. Oh It's cartoon cat. Oh my god, Jason what piggy in the coffin meme dance? Oh, uh, what is going on? Bruh. Oh my god. Yo, that looks super weird. <laughs> what is wrong with Peppa? <laughs> this is like a cursed video or something. Oh! There's that ugly Peppa. Oh my god, Peppa Pig? What happened to Peppa Pig? She let herself go, man. That is the ugliest Peppa Pig I've ever seen in my life. Oh, better not get near me, man. Cartoon cat again? Yo, those cartoon cat noises are so weird. Oh. Okay, so I have no idea what that was, but that was totally weird and it freaked me out. Alright, so now I'm in the mood to watch some like creepy pasta video, like some Trevor Henderson creations. So I came across this uh, cartoon cat teaser trailer 2021 unofficial by Shayen. Videos not only edited for the sake of fun and entertainment. Please do not be offended of any way if you did not like it. Man, should be pretty cool. Do you like cartoons? Why, well, I do kind of like cartoons. I used to like cartoons a lot. But I have not watched cartoons that much. Oh, really? Feels like I'm talking to the screen or something. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I know oh. how it's all gonna end. It's just a rerun. A rerun of my favorite You're gonna love episode. this one. It's a game of cat and mouse. <laughs> you're the mouse. I'm the mouse? <laughs> and you're gonna run. He's, he's calling us a rat. Oh, shit. A rat. <gasps> wow, that is pretty offensive, man. And scream. They always scream. Oh. oh. You guys saw cartoon cat. Oh my god, alright. Dude, he's chasing us. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Better start running. <laughs> oh, yo, that was pretty dope for like a fan made video, you know? Like a little trailer. Coming 2021. Yo, that was awesome. I feel like they should really make these Trevor Henderson creatures like some sort of horror movie or something. That would be pretty dope. All right, and for the next two videos, we're going to be watching there by Four Lore. Floor? I don't know how you pronounce that, but something in between there. And this is a Siren Head one. You know Siren Head always be awesome. And this is like a real life action one. Oh, my man's living in 3025, man. Look at that. But the coronavirus is still around. Wow. Ooh. Siren Head. So it seemed like he might be tracking Siren Head down or something. Oh, I thought he was about to break his ankle there. <laughs> he probably got like the iPhone 30. I heard the noise. I know you heard it, bro. Oh, he put down a Claymore? Call of Duty vibes? Man, just playing Call of Duty at the same time. Oh. Wait, is he playing the siren noise? I think he's trying to bait the siren head to come out. Oh, it seems like it's working. You should not be doing that, bro. I don't know, man. You're playing some scary games right now. Trying to mess with Siren Head. Yo! <laughs> the Siren Head just popped out of nowhere. Hey, that's what he wanted. Oh, the Claymore! 
Dude, Siren Head just ran through that claymore. Oh. No way he's alive, right? What in the futuristic... What is this, a robot? That's it, guys. If you like my video, please leave a like and share hey. with your friends. Yes, like and share, guys. All right, so I was kind of confused at the ending what that robot was all about. I'm not too sure, man. If you guys know, if you guys seen it, let me know. It should definitely make a Siren Head movie bigger in horror concept. Exactly, right? Man stares at Siren Head, Siren Head, beep, 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 looks around. <laughs> That's all he really does, though. All right, so we're going to watch it. He also made a Slender Man, another real life action one. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Dude, where is this guy at? He has like all these spooky locations, man. Dude, you guys saw Slenderman, right? I know, look, he was right there. Right before he entered. Look! Oh my god. He's just chilling right there. My boy does not, he is clueless. Oh man, this is not good, bro. Slender man. Yeah, that's a pretty cool intro. Oh, you guys see the circle on the X? Isn't that like a Slender Man thing? What? Oh! Yo, why does it look like Slender Man? Pop the squats like poop or something. Oh, he's glitching, glitching, bro. <laughs> Heck no, nah, I would have gotten out of there. <laughs> Yo, he just stood up and he's like 10 feet tall. What? <laughs> oh, distraction dance. I knew it. He's dead. He's dead. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's a cool looking Slender Man. Let's get a look at him. Look at that thing. Pretty horrific, man. Is that the end? That is the end. Yo, that was pretty dope. Let's like, snap like on that. Alright, and for the next video, we're gonna be watching. It's about like, the, the smile room. Since I never seen like an origin or a, a video about like what the smile room actually is. I wanna check this out and this is by Clark Teeter. Alright, this should be cool. Room. Oh! With a oh, dude, it's- hold on, man! Trying to get full screen and that thing is actually opening and closing. The small one. <laughs> oh man, that is so disturbing. The, rise, the agency must be ever vigilant that people do not get caught by the small room. By our cal- Who would- How could you even get caught by that? Like, do you not see the teeth right at the door? Calculations, the small room is responsible for a 20% increase in missing persons reports. 20% in increase, that is a lot. The smile room is not a mundane phenomenon. It is actually a creature that somehow is able to mimic an escape room oh, man. in order to trap and consume people. It isn't bound to one location as once assumed. The first time the smile room was encountered, containment was thought to be easy. Isolate it and keep people away. Starve it to death. This starves that you. Didn't work. Okay. It was a nasty surprise to find out that the smile room can move. Once it got hungry and saw that people weren't entering it, the door closed and then faded away along with the paint advertising it, leaving a blank wall. Okay, so it seems like when this my room starts starving and he doesn't eat people alive, he like disappears to a new location or something like that. Testing the blank wall revealed that there was no way a room could have been built there in the first place. Whoa. The smile room was discovered a few weeks later in a new city. I told you. The way the smile room would operate is that it would travel to populated areas, set itself up and open the door, revealing an ordinary room with a sign-in station. People would sign up, the door behind them would close, and they would continue deeper through the maze, where they would solve puzzles Tricky. to get to the next door and go even deeper. What the puzzle solvers don't realize is that they are walking deeper and deeper into its stomach. Yep, that's exactly what I was about to say. Puzzles would get more and more complex until finally the person wouldn't be able to solve them. At that point, giving up is not an option. <laughs> they will have discovered that the doors they use to enter the new rooms don't open again. 
The smile room will then let them starve to death and digest them. Dang. Trying to damage the walls or break down the doors doesn't work. While so it's indestructible from what it sounds like? They look like wood or plaster. The material is similar to that of a limpet, a creature with one of the most durable shells around. What is Attacking that? Attacking the walls or doors directly is also ineffective. A full team was lost exploring the smile room and learned this the hard way. Oh no. They had tried blowing their way out once they were unable to continue Huge forward. mistake. Once they had done enough damage to the walls, the last thing their cameras caught was the creature simply compressing the room there. Oh, there is a way so I compressed, I like tightened up everything and possibly just digested them as it, as it happened. Out though, we have reports of several groups surviving and managing to leave the smile room. They had remarked that the puzzles did get harder. Whoever survived that pog, man, you guys are pogs. Harder, but eventually, after what felt like days, they found themselves at the reception with the door open. It is hypothesized that the survivors actually made their way through the smile room's entire digestive tract. Oh no. What they saw as the entrance to the smile room was actually an exit as well. Hey, that's an actual movie. It's like the escape movie. <laughs> I seen it. It's pretty cool. They did admit that they found themselves in another part of the city, walking through an identical looking door. What? Carefully looking revealed that yes, the smile room always has two doors manifested in a city. Two doors? One entry and one exit. Oh, of course. With the exit being in an unpopulated area. It is said that if you unravel a set of human intestines, you can stretch them lengthwise Ew. down a football field. A so football field? For a creature like the smile room, its bowels may be the size of a city. It needs to be large enough to hold all the of a puzzles. City. What isn't understood is why it gives its victims a chance to escape. Each puzzle has a possible solution. There are no okay. impossible rooms. The failed mission with the team says it can just crush people. Why not just close the door once <laughs> they enter smash. and eat them? For some reason, the smile room needs to have puzzles, and the puzzles even change from visit to visit. The route to the exit is always changing, and outside of crushing people upon being attacked, it does nothing but trap people and slowly starve them. Oh man. The best thing to do is have a guide skilled in the smile room's puzzles present to guide people through and get them out ASAP while advertising the smile room as a weekend escape room. <laughs> oh man, dude, smile room is crazier than what I, I actually imagined it to be. Right, so this thing starves you to death in there and then it consumes you. As you go deeper into its uh, digestive system, from what it sounded like, that is pretty crazy. So the deeper you go in, the more you're going into his belly. And you're going to get eaten alive. Which little you know, till you're dead. <laughs> Alright you guys, well these were some pretty cool self-made videos by all these awesome content creators. Shout out to all of them. And their cool creations. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. And if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below if you have like a video you want me to react to you could drop the link also i'll check it out and yeah i will see you guys in the next one